everyone, this video is about cleaning refrigerators and specifically taking out the shelves, the bins, and the drawers. Sometimes they're difficult and so I thought I'd make this video and share it with you. First thing to do is clean the bottom of everything that you take out because sometimes they're dirty. Um, the next thing also is just use lukewarm water. Some people use really hot water, that's not necessary um, unless you need to sanitize something that got stuck in the bottom of the shelves or the drawers. Um, use a mild detergent something that's not going to scratch and then whatever you wash dry it up right away especially if you're using if your refrigerator has um, bins or shelves that are either glass or plastic because this way you don't get water droplets um, marks on your shelves and so putting it back is pretty simple you just kind of push against the door and then it just sort of goes inside the crevice where um, it goes now taking everything out here see it got stuck and so that's why I say you got to take, take everything out and then clean the bottom so that when you put it back, it doesn't dirty everything again. See, my refrigerator was pretty dirty. So anyway, let's take out the shelves. Um, I'm going to show you here. Taking out the shelves is pretty easy. All you have to do is just kind of push up. And then the there's, let me show you here what it looks like so you can see what I mean. It's got hooks in the back. And those hooks... Um, go towards the back of the refrigerator. See what it looks like? Okay, so when you take it out, you push it up, and then the bottom one will come off, and then it's pretty simple to just unhook the one in the top. Now, when washing it, especially in the, in the edge of the glass, um, cleaning it with something just a little bit, um, not so abrasive so that it won't scratch it. But anyway, here, I'm going to take another one out. And see what it looks like when it's up against the refrigerator, the back? It sort of pushes in that um, space where it goes, the hook. So that's what it looks like. To take it out, the bottom one comes off. And then you just sort of gently push up the one in the top. Kind of give it a small tap if it doesn't come out. It's not coming out for me, so I'm going to get my friend to come and uh, take it out. There you go. Just give it a small tap, and then it'll come off. Okay, and now these are metal, so you can kind of wiggle it a little bit. They won't break. And here's the other one. See, pull up, the one in the bottom comes off, and then the one in the top comes out easier. Okay, now there is, this is the glass um, shelf that's on top of the crisper. I like to spray it with something so that the edge especially is kind of soft in case anything fell in and is just kind of stuck between the glass and the um, plastic that it goes in. And so um, to take it out is really simple. I'll show you later on when I'm putting it back in how simple it is to take it in and out. Anyway, so this one, I don't spray with anything. I just use the... Um, a paper towel and just wet it a little bit and just kind of clean it off. I don't use any kind of detergent or um, any kind of spray in it. Now here we go. Putting it back, the one hook in the top goes in first and then the one in the bottom. See here's another one. Here's the other shell. So just kind of take the top one first, push it in, and then the other one in the bottom just goes slides right in. So that one's pretty simple to put in. And so here's the other two. Now here's the other, um, the shelf that goes on top of the crisper. Remember I showed you before I spray it with something. And then just use the soft side of the sponge, wipe it down, dry it right away. And then putting it back in is pretty simple. All you have to do is just kind of slide it in. It doesn't have any hooks in the back or anything. And so you just push it down and then that's it. Mission accomplished. Okay, we're halfway done. Here comes the drawers. That's the hardest part, in my opinion, to take out of the refrigerator. The instructions were not as simple as, as it says. Um, according to the instructions, you just kind of pull up and then the, the shelves come out. And guess what? That didn't happen. So that's why I'm making this video because it is a real big pain in the neck. So I'm going to show you if I could just keep that door open. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to take it out. First, I got to put everything back. Okay, so taking it out is not as hard as it seems uh, here. I'm going to show you twice. I'm going to go fast. So all you do is just pull sideways like towards you, and then the 
the drawer just kind of unhooks and then you can pull it out. So these bars, you can push them in and out, make sure that you clean them out because sometimes things fall in there. Um, and then just push them back in so that when you're taking the drawer back into its place, it just, all you have to do is just slide it in and I'll show you later in a minute. Okay, so here's in slow motion. See that bar, that silver bar, you pull against, uh, um, out sideways and then it just sort of snaps out the shelf itself. See it? So then you just take it out one at a time. So this one's out and then it just automatically pops out. Okay, so this metal bar just, um, you sort of push a, like away from the shelf, from the drawer I mean, and then it'll snap out, okay? And then just lightly take it out. It's not as hard as it seems, although it is tricky. Okay, so I decided to do this one slow motion so you can see it, okay? I'm gonna show you this one. You take it out, slide it all the way out, take the bar, pull away, and, it, and trust me, it won't break. Um, you sort of just kind of wrap your hand underneath and then pull a, like away from the shelf. You do one side first and then the other, and then it comes out. Okay, and it's got those little sliding wheels in the back, okay? Now here's this one, this is the crisper drawer, and this one just kind of slides out the most difficult part of this one is that the refrigerator drawers kind of, I mean, the doors just kind of keep closing and so it's a pain in the neck. Um, and like I did before with the other shelf that's, that I showed you before, the real long one, all I do is just wipe this one down um, with just a wet paper towel. A lot of things tend to fall in it. Okay, so these are the bars where you um, put the drawers in push those all the way back because this way it's easier for you to be able to push the drawer back in. All you do is just kinda, kinda tilt it at an angle, push it back, and then it'll just click. See, you have to hear that click and then this way you know that it's in properly. Let me show you the other one too. Okay, see these slide out, but then make sure that they're slide all the way back in so that when you put the drawer in its place, it, all you have to do is just slide it in and out. It's so simple that even my 10 year old does this one. Okay. Now, um, what else? So this is it. It's all cleaned. Everything's put back in. Um, things are easier to do if you just use somebody to help you. Like it's a tool.